Hi everyone, my name is Yasmin Ahmed, a PhD student at the University of Pittsburgh in the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department. I'm working at Melody Lab. Today I'm presenting Accordion, a novel methodology and a tool for expanding dynamic network models from information in published literature. I'm co-authoring this work with Cheryl Talmer and my advisor, Dr. Natasha Mishkov Zidanov. So modeling world complex systems such as intracellular and intercellular biological networks by extracting new information from knowledge sources such as pathway databases, expert knowledge, and literature would enable an improved understanding of these systems. However, it's a time and labor intensive task and it's often limited by the knowledge and the experience of the modelers. And moreover, it's challenging to understand the relevance of new findings due to the vast amount of new research articles. So there is a pressing need for an automated method that updates models with new information automatically and evaluates the usefulness and the accuracy of the updated models. So here's a typical model assembly pipeline that starts with a question that's raised by the user about the system under study. This question can be transformed into a query in order to be an input to search engines in order to select the most relevant papers and to extract information that can be assembled into models. And these models would be analyzed using um, model analysis techniques such as stochastic simulations and statistical model checking. So the, automated, the, the automation challenges are the machine reading issues and the literature inconsistency and model validation difficulties and to provide the precise and quick answers to the question raised by the user about the system under study. So we developed Accordion, which is short for Automated Clustering Conditional on Relating Data of Interactions to a Network. So this fr framework is developed to automatically extend models and to enable rapid and comprehensive exploration of the, published uh, of the published literature. In specific, it utilizes published work to collect extension for existing models and to assemble model candidates and then to explore these extensions using stochastic simulations and uh, statistical model checking in order to find the model that best recapitulates the system behavior. So here is an example for how to extract information from literature. So usually extraction from literature starts with a question such as uh, how is P10 regulation involved in T cell fate? So this question can be uh, converted into a logical expression as shown in this example query. So this query is then used to search public literature databases such as PubMed in order to select the relevant information that can be assembled into models. Eventually, the selected papers are sent to machine reading engines for automated extraction of information. So the information extracted by the reading engines are in the form of events and entities. So for instance, in the context of, of biomedical literature, the events are interactions between biochemical entities such as phosphorylation or increase or decrease in activity. So here we used REACH search engine and we show here two example sentences and we, uh, we show how REACH extracts events into the interaction based format. We will refer to the list of interactions retrieved from literature in this format as reading output. This reading output can be automatically translated into the element based by recipes format which is then used as input to executable model generation. The by recipe format for each element provides a name, its name, whether it's protein, gene, or RNA, or a chemical, and its, its name, sorry, and its type, which is protein, gene, or RNA, or chemical, and its identifier from a database, such as Uniprot, and a variable that represents state and a set of regulators. With this toy model, we show here how to expand existing model automatically and efficiently to answer the question raised by the user about the system under study, expanding the baseline model with the interactions curated from literature all at once usually does not result in a useful and accurate model. Alternatively, we can add one interaction at a time and simulate each model version which is time consuming and impractical. So it proves much more useful to cluster the network and extract the most connected components that are at the same time connected to the baseline model. 
Therefore, we use the whole graph and then we conduct clustering to extract the groups of strongly connected elements and that are at the same time connected to the baseline model or which represents the existing information. We used here an unsupervised technique called Markov clustering algorithm to cluster the network of interactions. We also merged clusters in order to create return paths between the model and the clusters as, such as the one highlighted in red. To evaluate the performance of accordion in, in the absence of an established and standardized set of benchmarks, we selected several published models created and curated manually and validated them against and they are validated against experimental results. And we tested accordion on those models. Here we show an example of these models. It's a discrete uh, an example of one of these of these models, which is a discrete dynamic model of the blood cancer T cell large granular lymphocyte leukemia disease. So there is no curative therapy yet known about for this disease and hence there is a crucial need to identify potential therapeutic targets. So we created the baseline model by removing all direct regulations of uh, 19 key players in the TLGL uh, network model. And then for the machine reading output we created a search query which is T-cell large granular lymphocyte leukemia and proliferation and apoptosis. And then we used it as input to literature search engine, which is PubMed. We then used Reach Engine to extract the interactions from the papers that PubMed returned. Here is an example of the results that we obtained that we obtained for this uh, case study. Here we can see that from the global probability estimates peaks, we observe whether we can extend the model and satisfy as many properties as possible. So the highest peaks in these bar graphs represent the best candidate model when compared to the golden model. So the best performance here is obtained from the model with index 2 and 3. Additionally, these two models together restored uh, most of the missing interactions, which is uh, apparent in the node overlap, in the high node overlap. So it's worth mentioning that a model satisfying most properties may not necessarily be the same as the full model with respect to both network structure and element update functions. So using accordion, we sometimes obtain multiple models that satisfy the same set of properties. This variety helps us examine redundancies or discover alternative pathways regulating same target elements. Thank you and I will be happy to take any questions during the poster session.